Hey, welcome back. It's Friday, February the 8th, 2008. This is The Gravity with Phil Campbell. Straight back into it because you know what? Tonight is beer night and I intend to have a few beers. Right, first site, we're going to get onto fd.com. Uh, let me just bring up my window with all my links in because I've accidentally shut the window down. That was a bit silly of me. Okay, first one I want to bring up. I need to put this onto here. Uh, the joys of live, eh? Righty. Okay, the first site is uh, purl.com uh, forward slash Q26N. Uh, I put all the uh, links into the Vidla timeline, or will do. Uh, at the moment, we've got the blip player on the uh, social TV, uh, social ninja TV website, but I intend to change it so that we can swap and change between different ones. And also, we're going to build a bit of redundancy into the site, in the sense that if something happens to one of the live sites, then we've got a backup solution that we can use. So, first site we're going to look at is uh, one over at ft.com. Which again, like I said, it's purl.com, Q26N, social network sites, slow Google. Uh, Google on Thursday blamed the difficulty of making money for placing adverts on social networking sites for holding back its growth in the latest quarter, contributing to a 9% slump in its shares in after hour trading. Um, I, I find this a bit strange, really. Um, I know Google's. Uh, all encompassing and uh, search engine and you know traffic here with its uh, ads and everything uh, but I find sort of pushing the uh, difficulty of making money onto social networking sites a bit of a a bit of a cop out really uh, the search engine also reported an unexpected sharp down down slowdown in the number of clicks people make on its online adverts contributing to the nervousness of Wall Street about underlying demand for its core advertising services uh, the latest share price decline left Google's share down 25% for the first month of the year and mirrored similar declines in the internet stocks in, re in recent days as investors have grown concerns about the effect of growing competition and changing consumer behaviour on the internet. Very interesting. We have found that social networks are not monetizing as well as we were expecting, uh, which I'm quite happy about, really. Uh, maybe I should be all sort of, no, no, blah, 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 but... I don't like the idea of monetizing social networking. I think that's ridiculous. I think if we can fine tune um, for us, maybe for them it's bad, but for us as the average bloke in the street, as we were in the 80s when we could put a website up and our website was on the same medium as IBM. You've got IBM website over here and you've got your website over here and you're on the same platform. Uh, it's putting something back for the little guys, social networking. Uh, you could filter into a really good group of people and network with some incredibly talented people who've got a wealth of skills and knowledge to share. And often they uh, they want to do it out of friendship. And uh, in turn, you end up coming out with something even better at the end of it. Uh, I call it indirect business. Uh, I've I've tended not to really do direct business apart from referral referrals and uh, uh, people who've suggested me from working on other projects. Uh, and I prefer indirect business. I prefer to establish um, an agenda, uh, a friendship of sorts with people first, and then take it from there. It's worked out better in the end because I can fine tune of the projects that I want to work with and the people I want to work with. So, sorry Google. Uh, we have found that social networks are not monetizing as well as we're expecting. Uh, since Google is guaranteed to make minimum payments to a number of social networks that carry its advertising, principally MySpace, the slow growth of the business has left the company out of pocket and con contribute to a falling profit margin in the quarter, he added. Oh well, never mind, eh? Next one is uh, £5appapp.com. Uh, great uh, little group of people. A meetup for programmers, web developers and designers to discuss and showcase their £5 apps. So that's $10 in the US. Lightweight software created for one or two people who take a simple idea and run with it. The discussion will range from technical, what tools, languages we use during development, to business, building computers, spreading the world, costs and rewards. Uh, I think this is great. Absolutely great. Uh, they have this all the time in Brighton and Hove by the looks of it, which is a bit of a pain in the backside because it's a long way to go for me to travel down there. It's about three hours away. Uh, we turned a self-funded garage-based enterprise into a company competing nearly head to head with established media business by harnessing the power of community and collaborations. Uh, that's Rupert Lowman of Eurogamer. 
Uh, Euro Gaming had a great site. When I used to be into gaming, they have a really s slick, clean site. So go check that out. That's uh, fivepoundapp.com. Uh, next site is at purl.com forward slash pike tp. So that's P I K E T P. Bidding reaches 18 billion pounds in the US wireless auction. Huge, huge stuff. Uh, now that the FCC has deregulated or sold off certain bands, uh, they're looking to sell other bits. And this band is the C block. Uh, there were no new bids on major slices of the airwaves known as the C block, which have to be made accessible using any, which will have to be made accessible using any device or software application under FCC rules. Uh, a bid of 4.7 billion made on Thursday morning remained the top offer. That was for the C block. Uh, this block was for, let's see if we can find it. Uh, bidding reached 18.5 billion. I just can't get my head around these numbers, but then I don't live in the US, so I, I, I can't comprehend that size of money. Uh, bidding reached 18.5 billion on Friday. The U.S. Federal uh, Communications Commission, uh, basically saying uh, setting a record auction of government-owned wireless airwaves, but there were no new offers for too large, closely watched slices of spectrum. It's crazy, isn't it? You know, pay, paying this huge amount of money to use air, effectively. Check that out, though. Interesting read if you're into. Uh, wireless and, and where the mobile market is going to I do it I, you have to excuse me for my terrible blocked up cold uh, I need some tablets to really clear it out it's just clogging up it's uh, not very nice so if I do sound really nasal and really hard to understand I will put the links into Viddler and you'll be able to get them from there next topic uh, is the Windows Server 2008 Microsoft Microsoft's leanest, meanest yet. Well, you couldn't get any more flabby, could you, really? Let's be honest, after all the software that they have pumped out in the last two or three years. Uh, network enhancements reduced attack surface and visualization, virtualization capabilities earned at Windows Server 2008 eWeek's Lab Analysis Choice Award. Wow, that is a big deal. However, <clears throat> all Windows server solutions have been pretty good. Even though I hate Windows now after making the change because of, I don't know if it's that Apple hide it better or the interaction you don't have to do so much, but it, it it's just, I prefer Apple's OS X, I really do. Uh, although saying that, I didn't really have that much problem with uh, Windows Server 2003 when I used it for game server hosting. So I, I would expect 2008 to be pretty good. But uh, if I had a choice between a Windows Server and a Linux Server, Linux server every time. Uh, the only thing is I would make sure that I had somebody uh, who knew how to operate it in terms of looking after it for patches uh, because it takes something like Ubuntu, patches are coming out for that all the time. Uh, which is great because you get to, you know, you get a lot more secure environment if there's a lot more people working on trying to fix it. But uh, you can see that uh, that Windows 2008 report there at uh, purl.com ov55. And next thing, this is a, if you've got an iPhone, you might be interested in finding out how to create the iPhone icons for the web clips. If you go to purl.com 826U, you can find it. Basically, it's a, a link rel, and you just link it to an, a, an icon. So, for instance, but the rel has to be apple-touch-icon uh, to specify for an icon for the entire website. Uh, place an icon file in PNG format in the root folder called apple-touch-icon.png. And then I presume any application where people make a web clip of your site, uh, the first thing the Apple, the, the iPhone and the iTouch will do is go and look for that graphic. Uh, but that's the way to make custom icons for your Apple iPhone web clips. Okay, we're coming up to nine and a half minutes. I'm going to close this one up now and uh, record on Monday. I hope you all have a really good weekend. I've got a lot of work to be catching up on this weekend. Uh, there's so much stuff that I need to get done before South by Southwest. I've got probably about three sites, including a client's one. And I also need to get advanced or ahead of myself so that during that week that I'm away, when I come back, it's not a torrent of work that I have to do. So I'll see you all on Monday. Have a really good weekend. I've been Phil from The Gravity. You can find me on socialninja.tv. Thanks.